And right when you drop your salute, the superintendent runs off, and then you say, right when she gets to her post, like where she's supposed to be, you say, post. Officers come up to their forward spots, you about face, about face. I walk out, I say, report. Sir, the bad training corps form. Give your squadrons order arms in concession of order. And back this way. Um, publish the orders, right? No. Publish the yeah. attention to orders. Orders four. Mm -hmm. 18. Mesquite, Nevada. <laughs> Sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a resort! Every single unit in the U.S. military has oh. PT, and that is because they need to be ready for any situation. Let's say that uh, here at Mesquite, Nevada, is, we uh, get attacked by perhaps um, sea cadets. Oh. Who's going to protect us then? Support staff? Well, they didn't do PT this morning, so they're not prepared. What's going to happen yeah, you should do that. all of these trainers? Are they going to die because support staff didn't play basketball this morning? Yes, they are. That is the big picture here. Strategic thinking. And any leader, such as myself, should know this core concept of, of strategy. It's always been my dream since I joined Civil Air Patrol to go into the into the United States Air Force. And I feel like encampment being at a hotel this year really makes me feel like I'm going to be an airman one day, you know? It feels like I'm an airman right now. They don't deserve ice cream. Have you seen them? They're trying. They don't do their job. This is 2018. If I, if you, okay, then, then great. You give, you go give them ice cream. Trying is supposed to be good enough. What? Trying is supposed to be good enough. I feel hazed right now. Have, have you read the manual? <laughs> Which no. manual? No. Do or do not, there is no try. Volume 1, Learn to Lead. Page 57. That's like a really old sci-fi movie. Yoda. Yoda. What regulation is that? You're not being helpful. No! You're not being helpful. Can you take the car? Do I hate Major Carson? Um, yes and no. I mean, he just makes us do all these completely useless tasks and 
I don't really get them. I mean, he's not lazy though. He always ready to jump up and correct us or yell at us. He always tries to discipline us, but I don't really see the point. It's we do work. I just I don't know. what the, um, the fourth core value of sequential is? Respect. Sir? Can you tell me what the second core value of sequential is? Volunteer service, sir. And, and what does the word service mean to you? To serve. To serve. Yes, exactly. Do you see what the problem is? No, I don't, sir. Well, the problem is that when a higher executive level commanding officer gives you a direct order, that means that you are entitled to serve them, which means to complete the order to the best of your ability. But if would, I don't would, want to do it. Would, would you call the, the way you delivered this the best of your ability? I delivered it. So, so let's, let's try this again. And you're going to take these, you're going to take them to your desk. And we're going to try this. Let's, let's start a fresh plate. Let's start over and try this again. So five minutes after that incident, I was fired. <laughs> um, Major Cars gave me a dolly ride right after just to make me feel better. And uh, I was sent home to California. So.